know what? I just did a video to show you all what I've been working on and it did not record. So, okay. I'm gonna set you there. So I've been working on cards for the nursing home and I started, I'm up to Christmas. So these are some of my Christmas cards and they are all a stamped image on a Christmas paper, but they're layered and they all have sequins. Um, here's the different stamps. Mostly are the snowman, a lot of the mittens, a few of this joyous heart, some snowflakes, more snowflakes. These I just stamped and then I put the sequins in them. I love this one. This stamp is a layered stamp. So it, um, you do the light green first and then you have another stamp that goes over it in the dark green and same with the um, pine cones and the ribbon. So then I just had some snowflakes or a couple of these, not too many of this house one. And then, you know, I'm going quickly, sorry. These have the little ornament that came with them. So, oh, and then when you open them up, they don't have a saying in them yet. Oh, goodness, good thing I looked at them. So I have to go through and put a Merry Christmas stamp in all of those. So those are the Christmas. And I think I have 50, 40 to 50 in there because their um, numbers have gone up. They used to only have like 30 some people. Now they're up to 40. Then for the New Year's, I saw somebody do um, this fold and I wanted to try it. So all the New Year's cards have this stamp and they're either colored um, in ink in either red or green. And this one, I didn't have enough, so I used this. They open this way. It's an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper cut diagonally. And then you fold this one side down and then you know where your corner is and you uh, make your crease line and you fold the other one down. So they're all, a um, few of them are solids, but the majority of them are this red paper because I had no idea what to do with this red paper. It's so bright and I thought this was perfect. Something for the new year that's bright and the rest of them are this green and they just open up and say happy new year. So those are the new year's cards. And then I also make a whole bunch. Those will all get addressed to each individual person and I hand sign each one. And then the birthday ones, I like to, uh, last year I decided I gave them a whole stack of birthday cards so they could give them to the residents as their birthdays came about. And since the birthday cards, I like to try to make them a little more special. So I cut pieces of paper in, I picked four or five colors in a paper pack and I embossed them with confetti. And then I used uh, a die set that I just got from Hobby Lobby. It was on clearance. But I figure if I, even if I know I'm only gonna use it this one time, I used it so many times, 50 times, that I feel like I got definitely got my $3 worth. So I cut the, all the bird cages out of like four different colors of glitter paper. And then I cut out uh, on that stamp, that die cut had this greenery. And then I used a Creative Memories flower punch to do most of the flowers. So they all are different colors. And some of the greenery are different colors. It's purple. They're all just aligned a little bit differently. And each of them, to, they were looking flat still. So what I did was I went to the Dollar Tree and they had, well, these are pearls that I just got, but they have um, the shiny dots in different colors. I put two in the same package. They're a long strip because there's four borders, but I just slice down them. And so I can pick each, each little sparkly thing off. So each flower has a sparkly thing to give it more. And because I'm not mailing these, it's perfect for that. So here's some more just to show you some of them. 
This yellow flower I used on my Cricut, but I didn't like the way they were doing, so I quit doing them. This flower here, the little things pop up if they're not glued down. I don't know if you can see them popped up a little. Um, that was part of the die set. I'm just gonna show you a few more of these. I still have to stamp these uh, with the happy birthday sentiment, but I just got finished putting all the pretty little flowers and the greenery on them. Some of them might be able to use a little bit more. There's just a flip through. I think they turned out cute. So that's what I've been working on. I have to now <clears throat> put the Merry Christmas sentiment in all the Christmas cards, which I forgot. And I have to find a birthday sentiment to put in all of these and then hand address the December and January cards and just sign the birthday cards. And the, res the nursing home will have to address them to the patient whose birthday it is. And I hope they do that. The people I deal with there, or the person I was dealing with has left to, I'm not sure if she left the company or she just left, I think she left, left that location. So I'm dealing with somebody new. So I'm hoping they um, do it like we've been doing it because the last girl told me the nursing home residents really enjoyed the cards because it's something bright. And they get one guaranteed every month for the past two years. They've gotten a card. So at least once a month, unless it's a birthday, then they get two. So that's where I'm at. Um, I did take a free painting class. This is just washi tape I have to peel off a little while ago. And this is what we made. I didn't have the right colors to do the trees. So I didn't like the way they turned out. And it was a one hour class and I did it through Zoom. I did it uh, at the same time as them. So I, I just, I'm not thrilled with it, but it's actually, actually not bad. But I did and since then get the right pencils that she used. So I have the same colors. So I want to redo that. And let's see, um, I crocheted a couple of hats. Uh, I've been working out in the garden a lot. The garden's pretty much done. I am going to go out there now, even though it's very hot out today, which is surprising. But I'm not complaining because I love the heat. And if we have this heat, it'll make my second round of raspberries ripen. And I picked two quarts so far off this second set. And typically I can't start picking them until October and I'm lucky if I get two or three to eat the rest of them go bad so this is pretty remarkable that it was so hot this summer that I've gotten a, a good second round and early so I'm gonna go pick those and do some yard work and then I'll come in and I feel good that I've gotten this far and that puts me to January so then I'll do February March cards I don't know maybe in November Maybe I'll try to do them a little earlier. The problem is, is the nursing home is a 40 minute drive. It's not it's quite 40 miles. It's probably a 30 mile drive and it's 30 minutes. And I don't like driving out there to that location in the winter. So the only time I would do it is if my husband drove with me, which he does sometimes, so. I could hold off and do them later, but the more time I give myself, the more creative I can get. And the more like on these, these were very tedious. It's not like something like this, where I just stamped it and quick colored it or something. These, I mean, weren't nearly as long as those. These are some of the other ones I've made recently. There's some mushroom ones. Mushroom that one. These I painted. I just haven't put them into a card yet. And I actually have extra bird cages. Um, I put them through the Xyron sticker maker. Mine's broken, but it still works. I cannot find my X to use. I wanted the X to use for the, um, the greenery pieces, and I couldn't find it. So I struggled with that. But that's what I've been up to. And I just wanted to pop on and say hello and to share with my friends what I've been doing. So, thanks for joining. Bye.